I'm going to show you how to replace this six gallon per minute shower head, uh, which works out to 22 liters per minute, with this low flow um, two gallon per minute uh, shower head, which works out to about 7.6 liters per minute. So I'll save a significant amount of water. To give you an idea of just how much water I'll save, with the old six gallon per minute shower head, taking five minute showers, I'd use 30 gallons for each shower. But with the new two gallon per minute shower head, the five minute shower uses just 10 gallons. Saying the same thing using liters, with the old 22 liter per minute shower head, a 5 minute shower would use 110 liters. But with the new 7.6 liter per minute shower head, that same 5 minute shower uses just 38 liters. But I'm also going to add in this valve right here. This valve will allow me to turn off the water in the middle of taking a shower and then turn it on again without having to adjust the taps or anything like that. That's good if you're uh, shampooing and you don't need any water or you're soaping down or, or maybe someone in the house has uh, turned on the hot water and all of a sudden you're getting a blast of cold water. So you want to quickly turn off the shower and then yell at them a bit and then turn it back on and continue showering. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first step is to remove the old shower head. And to do that I'll use these uh, channel locks, also known as water pump pliers. They come under a variety of names. Simply turn them then you can move them to any distance you want. So for this right here, I turn it to about uh, distance looks good. Okay. And what you want to do is uh, grip this. Actually, I'll do it a little more. Grip this solidly right here while you turn it. There you go. Once you turn it a little bit, then you can easily get it off the rest of the way. There we go. Now, I have to uh, remove this Teflon tape right here. Uh, it's best if you always start with a fresh one. So to do that, I'm just going to find an end. Okay. And the part I'm putting on is this uh, plastic valve right here. Now, if you're putting plastic on plastic, according to the box that these things come in, they say you don't need any Teflon tape. But I'm putting plastic on metal, so I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to wrap some Teflon tape around this first. So here's some Teflon tape, which you can buy in hardware stores or plumbing stores. Simply a white tape here. It's not sticky, but what it does is it uh, fills in the uh, any holes. Um, so it's kind of like a, a putty, but it's a lot easier to use than putty. And, it's easier to remove afterwards too if you need to. Now when you put on Teflon tape it's important that you put it on in the right direction. And the right direction is the direction that you're going to screw the thing on. So I'm going to screw it in cl on clockwise. So wrap the tape on clockwise. Also when you're putting Teflon tape on make sure you don't have any overlapping because any overlapping will uh, plug the hole. Nice and flat there. A little tension. Let's go around a couple of times. And there we go. We take our valve and we put it on. Now it's plastic, so we don't want to go too, too tight, otherwise, we'll crack the plastic. It's not metal to metal, this is a plastic to metal. If it was metal to metal, then you could take your, your water pump pliers again and you could tighten it. But with the plastic, you don't need to do that. You can just go finger tight. Okay, so that's that step. The next step is to put on the uh, shower head. And I'm going plastic to plastic, so I don't need any Teflon tape. At least not according to the box that this came in. Um, so I'll simply put this on. Some plastic, so you don't want to use your uh, your wrench, otherwise you might actually break the plastic. So don't go too tight. Put finger tight like that. 
Make sure you don't turn the other one when you're doing it too. And that should be good. Now to test it. Okay, so I had a leak, so I uh, simply took the uh, water pump pliers and tightened this up a little more. As you can see, it's twisted quite a bit more that way, and that seems to have fixed it. So let me just demonstrate that. There you go, no leaks. <laughs>